Hey friends, welcome to this smart light hack tutorial. Uh, as you know that uh, I have a Google Home Mini uh, in my living room and an EcoFlex in the master bedroom through which uh, I control uh, a few lights. I have three lights at home. So this is uh, a Cisco, uh, from Cisco, uh, which is in the dining area and i also have another one and this is a wi-fi light from vipro uh, and uh, both these uh, devices the cisco wi-fi uh, rgb light and the vipro smart bulb both of them are actually recommended to use their own smart home uh, uh, apps like you have the cisco app and uh, this was for Cisco and for Vipro there is something called Vipro Smart Life uh, now everything's fine till the point of time things keep working but uh, if you see the Alexa skill section uh, I'll just show you that Mm, if I just go to home browse my skills and in my skills so let me search whether I'm able to find okay so if I search Cisco So this is something I have unlinked but uh, if you go to the reviews you will find that someone's written worked fine for a month now bulb works fine with Cisco app it's just unable to connect to Alexa. So I am facing this problem that I am not able to uh, trigger on off of uh, the devices from yesterday and this if you see the dates it's all of 18th of December that this problem has started so I'll tell you how I have fixed though I knew about this workaround earlier but uh, since things worked fine earlier I never tried out that so I'll try to enable the skill which I have disabled and if you um, see there you can see that at tuya tuyaus.com yes there you see on the top of the screen so that is where the authentication uh, takes place and now if I uh, try to authenticate uh, my account so I have entered my credentials and if I click uh, authorize so it gives unable to link Cisco smart home with Alexa we are experiencing a problem connecting with the skill to link your account you can try linking your account again by visiting the Cisco smart home skill uh, page and um, I have found out that all these devices are actually using the services from Tuya so technically I feel they use the same uh, board and a firmware which is uh, supported by Tuya both uh, Cisco as well as the Wipro uh, bulb uh, what I was actually doing is I was just using the Cisco app to add both the Cisco and the uh, Wipro bulbs because they had the same uh, method of adding the devices um, uh, let me probably show you uh, how similar it is so if I go to the Cisco so the process here to add the devices is uh, I just need to press a plus over here and it asks me uh, what type of device it is I select light source Wi-Fi um, it tells me to use a 2.4 gig signal and uh, but then uh, when I click next so I will just show you that 
so when I click next uh, it says that uh, you just need to turn on and off the device uh, thrice and uh, the lights uh, generally start blinking uh, quite rapidly when you do that and once the light starts blinking you just need to click on confirm and next and then uh, it detects the light and uh, it uh, gets uh, added to your account uh, I will just cancel this process and I will show you uh, this is how uh, it gets uh, added to your account so you have now seen the Cisco smart home app uh, through which the device is added now I will show you that it's the same thing a uh, same experience with Tua it's it's almost I should say 100% same so what I feel is Cisco has been authorized to just rebrand the same master app with their uh, logos and use the same functionality so now as I showed you earlier that uh, the main services uh, are uh, provided by uh, Tuya so let me show that once again So again I will show you when I click enable to use as a smart home skill it goes to px51.tuyaus.com so what the way I have found out to fix the problem is I have uh, deleted all my devices from the Cisco app um, added uh, to uh, the Tuya app and uh, as part of the smart home skills so I'm showing demonstrating to you uh, the smart home skill of uh, Alexa but it's the same uh, process for uh, it's the same process for uh, Google home uh, also so here you see there's uh, a smart home skill called uh, Tuya so what I have done is uh, I have enabled it now if I click on disable it will uh, stop so I have uh, enabled it and uh, once the devices have been added in the Tuya app you will get an automatic uh, notification uh, on Alexa so, uh, and in my devices if I show you so on my living room uh, you can uh, see that you can see the die uh, dining light which is uh, one the Cisco uh, device and uh, in my master bedroom you can see the master light which is uh, 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 which is the uh, Vipro bulb now I will also show you that um, using uh, the commands how uh, things uh, still continue to work fine so I am demonstrating to you in such a way that it's easily visible. You can uh, see the reflection of my dining light uh, on my iPad. And now uh, if I trigger this, it turns off. And if I press it once again, it turns on. If I say Alexa, Alexa, turn off the dining light. okay it's turned off Alexa Alexa turn on the dining light okay this is a basic functionality uh, which was working until day before yesterday and just stopped working from yesterday uh, so how I have fixed it is just migrating uh, all my uh, smart light, uh, uh, smart light, specifically Cisco and uh, the Wipro uh, to the Tuya app and using the Tuya skill here as uh, well as uh, on uh, the same thing appears uh, in uh, uh, Google also. So I'll show you how it uh, looks on Google Home. So this is the Google Home app. Now all the devices are integrated, but uh, to add the uh, to your service, you just need to go to settings, and if you scroll down, you will see the option works with. Uh, okay, 
under settings you have services so in services just click on works with google and here you have uh, i have linked three services since i use smart home uh, devices of these three companies smidge 2 and smart so um, uh, to uh, add uh, new services you just need to search so uh, earlier uh, Cisco was used uh, so Cisco was one of them which I have unlinked so if I try searching in Cisco so you have Cisco smart home so that I've removed it and I have uh, replaced uh, it with replace it with two year so you have the two year smart and I have two devices as I just mentioned and uh, now with both the devices added uh, you can uh, see uh, that uh, the master light and uh, the lights out here I have two lights out here living room so the passage light both are appearing uh, on the Google smart home as uh, well as uh, on Alexa and even through voice commands on Google it works fine maybe I'll just demonstrate that hey Google turn off the dining light So you have seen that the dining light, uh, the Cisco light is now turned off. Hey Google, turn on the dining light. Okay, works perfectly. So now you know that just by changing the services from uh, Cisco uh, to Tuya, we have been able to fix this issue that uh, propped up uh, since yesterday. Hope uh, this uh, tutorial uh, to fix this issue has helped you. Uh, do give a thumbs up uh, in case uh, this has helped you and do share your feedback. Thanks and have a nice day.